Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Gears 12, and real quick before I jump off into this review, Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Today is Happy Thanksgiving, it is Thanksgiving, eating all that turkey and all that good, good stuff. Anyway, so, and if you're watching this after Thanksgiving, sorry, you missed the video on the day it was released. Anyway, so, today I'm reviewing the album from Silosis, the band, entitled Edge of the Earth. A lot of people recommended me this when I reviewed their release of this year in 2012 of Monolith. So people were like, check out Edge of the Earth. It's either a lot better or you're going to enjoy it. That's basically what I got was that it's, it's as good as Monolith, the uh, 2012 release, or it's better. So... Um, there is 14 tracks on this album, full track listing and personnel that played on the album will be in the description as always, but uh, I wanted to review this album because a lot of people recommended it, and ever since I heard Monolith, I just wanted to know what other releases this band has put out, so I went and checked it out, and let me tell you guys, wow, um, if you have heard the release in 2012, uh, Monolith by Silosis, you're gonna be sitting there after listening to Edge of the Earth going, oh my god. Because if if Monolith made you like just so happy with what this band put out, how great the music was, then I think you'll enjoy Edge of the Earth a little bit more. Now, I'm not saying Edge of the Earth is like pedestal high while Monolith is down here. I'm saying is Edge of the Earth, to me, is personally a little bit better than Monolith. Not saying that they... Not, I'm not trying to say that they back, they downgraded from on Monolith, the new, the newer record. But I think Edge of the Earth had a, a more crisp sound, a better, um, a better variety of things going on. So basically, on Edge of the Earth, I got the sense of that this was a lot of thrash elements, a lot of thrash uh, went into this album, a lot of thrash riffs, a lot of thrashy type moments. We also got some uh, technical, some some little bit itty bits of technical uh, metal in there. Um, I would have to say, uh, just a lot of heaviness, I mean, that's what really I got from this album, because there's like a lot of, uh, different styles of changes going into it, basically, um, in, in an in individual track, there's a lot of, uh, changes, and there's a lot of, um, you know, moving to like a different type of what, where we're gonna go with this song, there's just a lot more going on on each individual track that really stood out to me. Now, on the guitar sound and the guitar quality you're going to get on this album is just phenomenal guitar work and phenomenal guitar thrash type sound. If you, you know what I'm talking about, um, the Megadeth, like, you know, the Big Four style of, like, you know, guitar sounds, kind of like that, just a little heavied up a little bit. I mean, it was just really obvious that they were trying to go for this monumental guitar sound. And to me, I think they kind of pulled it off because I feel like the guitar work on this album is top notch in my opinion. Now... Some people might say, well, I've heard this kind of stuff before, but for me personally, listening to the album and really like remembering all these other albums that I've heard of other thrash type bands, and bands that kind of sound like Silos, is like where, where Silos just might get their influence. I think Silos is, is really on this uh, uh, album, Edge of the Earth, sorry about that, is just a monumental thing because there's so much going on and just the guitar work that went into this album is just mind-blowing to how they came up with these riffs because they just a lot of them stand out from other uh, bands I've heard that have written riffs and like oh that sounds kind of like this ah that's kind of original I feel like this album just was really really top-notch work same thing for the bass quality um off to the drumming, there's a lot of double bass, a lot of things that you're come to know of a thrash band, basically. A lot of double basing, a lot of using the uh, the, uh, the the ride cymbal, um, just a lot of just heaviness that goes on, a lot of drum feeling going on, going crazy. That's basically the drumming on this album. It's pretty good quality sound on drums, so it matches really well with what the guitars and bass are doing. Vocal-wise, there is a lot of uh, screaming, there's a lot of just like growling at you, not like really like... Um, over the top growling or screaming but enough to where it's like that they're trying to tell you something and like they're they're using that like the, the vocalist is trying to use that support to really you know yell at you and tell you what they're what he's trying to say to you basically uh there are some singing moments and what's good is that the singing moments are in the perfect place in my opinion there's a lot of moments where you could say ah there well there's like a there's like a little melody a guitar melody there let's add some clean vocals but they don't and the spots they do have the clean vocals, I think, are the best spots that they could have added clean vocals. Okay, they could have obviously not put clean vocals, but the clean vocals they do add is in the perfect spot. Uh, overall, on these songs, basically, you're going to get a mix of, like, a thrash, a lot of thrash elements, a lot of 
guitar melodies, um, some instrumental moments where it's like about uh, 45 seconds to a minute of just straight, you know, just going crazy, just having some fun, jamming along. Um, the guitar solos are just ridiculous on this album. Like you, you expect like thrash bands to really throw out those like crazy guitar solos. Well, this is no different. Silos just brings their A game with the guitar solo wise. They just throw them out and like they're going crazy tapping, you know, sweeping, you know, whatever they can do, they're doing it, and it blows my mind because every guitar solo on this tr on this album, from going from track to track just sound like it, it took a, it took some time to get that down you know to, to, it didn't take one take to get that guitar solo completed and all that's 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 going on the record i mean it's just they had to have taken some like at least five to like maybe five to ten maybe ten plus takes to get some of these solos because they're really mind-blowing so overall i think this album just is a is a is a powerhouse it's a it's, a, it's like a, like I said before in the interview, it's a monumental thing because there's so much going on. And once the album was completed and it went all the way through, I had to go on repeat and listen to it all the way back again because I know that I did not catch every little itty bitty thing that's thrown in there because there are moments where there's a guitar melody that you didn't hear. Like there was a certain part in that melody where it kind of like they went like in a different direction or whatever or there was like a certain like you know sounds or something that was going on like you didn't catch there's some certain moments where you know, the, the riffs are going so fast and crazy it's kind of hard to keep up so on one playthrough you're not going to catch everything you might catch about 80 percent about what this album is but you have to re-listen about a good three four times to really fully understand what Silosis is doing because this album has so much stuff going on that like I said, you you might get eighty percent if you're lucky. The first listen to without like if you're not expect if you've never heard this album, and you play it from start to finish, and you don't know what's happening, you don't know any of the songs, you might be able to get eighty percent. You might get like sixty percent. I mean, because there's so much going on in some moments, you won't even realize when a song has gotten to the next one because it, like the the riffs keep changing up so much, it's kind of hard to follow what's going on. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think this is a good thing. Because I think if a, a, if a, a band puts out an album now nowadays like this, where it's like verse chorus, okay, the verse is different than the chorus. Verse chorus, so repeated the verse and the chorus two times. Then we have the breakdown, then the solo, and then back to the chorus, and then it's it's over or like an ending, and then it's done. I mean, it's it's kind of like it's just it's been done so much. But a lot of people say, well, that's the way songs should go. Well, in my opinion, I think there should be more variety of what's happening because. I like it when bands like this album gives you more. It gives you like you know different styles. It keeps switching up stuff. There's like at least six to six to eight, maybe a little bit more transitions. Maybe not so much, and some other songs. But there's a lot of transitions going on in these uh, this each individual track that. Sometimes it's kind of hard to follow when the next track starts. Or it already did. You just didn't realize it because there's so much going on. But overall, I think this album is just a great, great thrash album that should be uh, really looked upon and really listened to if you've not heard it. Because it blows my mind. So I think that if you like Silosis and you heard Monolith, or if you didn't, I suggest first listening to Monolith to understand where the band is at now in 2012. That's the newest release. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I suggest if you've not heard Silos, just go check out that album. But you have to check out Edge of the Earth at some point. I think Monolith is the first album you should listen to to really fully understand what the band is. Because I think that's the best representation. But musically and just sonically and just how this album really felt to me, Edge of the Earth is the album I think that really like musically showcases Silos. But as a whole, I think Monolith does like it shows where the band's at now because there are some changes on monolith but i think edge of the earth is an album that has to be looked upon it has to be listened to to from thrash fans or you know basically just heavy metal fans in general need to check out this album edge of the earth by silosis and the rating for this album i'd have to say it's a good nine out of ten there's nothing negative i can really say about this album but that's just the way I see it. I think it's in a really an amazing quality type thrash album that has to be checked out. So that's what it is. So, uh, guys, if you like the video, then like the video. And if you like me and you like my reviews, and of course, subscribe. It's up there somewhere. So subscribe to me for more mental videos. And I will see you guys pretty soon.